Alright then, let's set up the node. After you have watched the previous video and you have all your networks and your wallet set up and you have claimed your shared EM tokens, you can see them in your MetaMask like this. It's time to set up the node. Do note that for setting up this node, you are going to need some real money. All the links and information that you are going to need to follow along this tutorial will be provided in the description below. First step, go to this link and go to sign up. This window will open. Here you have your basic information and you have to sign in. You can use even Facebook or Google account, it doesn't matter. This is pretty basic stuff. Just sign in, click you're not a robot, agree to all of these terms here and you are ready for the next step. When you sign in, this window will pop up and you have to go to product services and virtual private server. Now click on order. Here, out of all of these, you can choose whichever you want. It doesn't make a difference. Basically here you are buying a VPS, which stands for Virtual Private Server. It doesn't matter which one of these you choose. The only difference is the price. This will not affect your airdrop. This is the one I suggest you choose. It costs 14.24 euros per month. You click order here. First step, go here, auto renewal, disable, so that the service will not drain this amount of money from your wallet every month, only one time. Next, the domain name should be this, sharedem.chase.com. Operating system should be Ubuntu 22.04. Everything else you do not touch and you click add to cart. Once you are here, you can try to enter this promo code. It will give you a $2 discount. If it doesn't work, it just means that the promo code is out of date. Sorry. Now click on pay. When this window pops up, you can choose how you want to pay for this service. I'm gonna go with cryptocurrencies. Click pay. If everything works fine, here you should see the username that you have signed up with for this service. Click next and here you have the option to finish your paying. Choose whichever country you want and click next. Now the option for paying pops up. Pay. When this window pops up, since I have chosen to pay with cryptocurrencies, here I can choose which which crypto I want to pay with. I want to go with Ethereum because that's what I have in my wallet. If you have your money on any of the other exchanges, you can choose them here and pay with those. Proceed to payment. When this window pops up, you will see here the steps that your payment needs to go through in order for it to be successful. And here you are going to see the wallet that you need to send the payment to. You can either use the wallet address or you can use the QR code. I'm going to copy the wallet, click on my MetaMask, click on send, paste the wallet here. And and here for the amount you want to enter the exact amount that you can see here so do not make it any more or less now for me it says that I do not have enough ETH in my wallet that's because I have already completed this transaction once and bought the service but you will have to have enough ETH for the gas and everything just then just click next and wait for the payment to go through after the payment goes through you will have to wait for all of these steps to finish and you will have your service bought after all of these steps are completed go back to your order page you will see your order show up here and it will say the status of the order is probably pending or something for a few minutes wait for it to be active like this one is and then you are going to be ready now go to the next link in the description and download this app this app will work on any system pc mac linux android ios choose your playground when you first install this app in the beginning you will have a few steps that i cannot show you right now because i have already completed them they are pretty straightforward just skip a few of them sign in you should definitely use the same profile that you used on the page where you bought your vps after you have signed in you will see a page like this the only difference is that you will not have a finished host like i do that's because i have already done this once first thing first click on new host this sidebar here will open up for the label you can enter whatever you want the address here is very important to find the address go back to your order page when you are here and your order is active click on the three dots here and then click on edit now you will see a bunch of information here this is all very important information for you and very personal do not show this info to anyone ever first things first you have the IP address select it and copy it control C go back to the app this is the address that you want to enter here control V next you want to enter the username the one that you want to use is R double O T second very important information your password go back to your order page here underneath the IP address you have the domain name and you have the password this is the password that you want select it control C go back to the app password control V everything else is fine do not touch it just click on this arrow here and your host is ready now 
it needs to be configured. In order to do this, just double click on it, wait for the connection to be established and now you are inside your host and let's start configuring. The next steps are very important. All you have to do is copy paste the correct commands that you can find in the description of this tutorial. So this is the first command. If for any reasons Ctrl V doesn't work for you, try Ctrl Shift V. Press enter and wait for the command to finish. The way you know that a command is finished is if you see this row here. Some commands will be very fast, just a few seconds, others can take up to a few minutes. So be patient until you see this row. Second command, Ctrl Shift V, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Note that between every number there is a space, enter. It's already finished, so you can see the ending row. Next command, already done. Next one, this one took a little bit longer, but it's already done. Control Shift V for the next one, done. And again, done. The next command is a little bit longer one. Make sure you copy it correctly and done. Here we go again, and done, and again, and done. Another longer one. This one will ask you a question when before it continues. By running this installer, you agree to allow Sherdom team to collect this data. Of course, you want to continue by typing in the letter Y as in yes and press enter. Again, do you want to run web-based dashboard? Yes, the letter Y, enter. Set password to access dashboard. Here you want to enter the password that you were given in your VPS. So copy paste it from there, the one that you can see here. And enter. Now you don't need to type anything, just press enter. Enter, enter. This one is going to take a little bit longer. Just wait for the root at sharedem code line to pop up. Sometimes it may seem like it's not doing anything, but just be patient. And there we go, the line of code that we're waiting for. Of course, this is not going to go so fast for you. The video is just sped up. Time for the next line of code and it's done fast. The next one also done very fast. And the last line of code and we are done with this part. Now in the description, there's a link that will lead you to this page, localhost 2.8080. Now go back to your PSV information and your IP address, copy it. Go back to the localhost page and instead of the word localhost, make sure to include all of the letters. Instead of this word, control V, your IP address. Press enter. That will lead you to this page. Do not be afraid. All you have to do is click advance and then proceed to this page. This is your IP address for the PSV. Once you are here, you need to enter your password to log in. This is the password that you want. Control C and then control V. Connect. If you see this, you are all good. Now let's get the node started and running. Go to the maintenance. Here you will see a few options. First things first, switch network if you are not on the Sheridan network. Your MetaMask will open up asking you to go from your mainnet Ethereum network to the Sheridan Sphinx 1.x network. If you have watched our previous tutorial on how to set up the networks and claim your Sheridan tokens, you will have them here. Now let's start the node. If you see the button pop up again, just refresh the page and the node should be running. Here you go. Stop node means you can, the node is running. It's in standby, as you can see here. You need to stake your shared DM tokens. Add stake. The minimum amount is 10. Just type in 10. Stake. Your MetaMask wallet will pop up. Sometimes you will not be able to confirm this immediately. Just give it a few seconds, maybe a minute tops and can do the confirm button. Since this is a testnet, it can take a little while every now and then. Depend. If this happens, just refresh your page. Sometimes it doesn't want to work the first time. Just add stake again, do the minimum amount of 10, stake, confirm, and you will see a message pop up saying stake successful. Now you are good to go, your node is running. If you see the status of your node is standby, don't worry, the node is still being used. They allow a maximum of 150 nodes to be active at one time and they are shuffling them. Sooner or later, your node will get added into the pool. Sometimes you will see the tokens being staked and unstaked like this. Don't worry about it. It. it's just an error of the testnet they will fix it at a later time when you claim more of their tokens you can add the stake which will of course up your airdrop if you have done all these steps correctly your node is set up and running now you can even turn up your computer don't worry the node is running online in the background check back every day maybe keep this open for an hour or so just to make sure or if you can or want to you can even keep it up all day all
all night doesn't really change a thing. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you found it useful, don't forget to like, subscribe and share this knowledge with others. See you in the next one.